Hey everybody, long time no see. Morning, today we're on an adventure. We have rented a car and we are going to Crater Lake National Park. Welcome to Crater Lake National Park. Established in 1902, this was once one of the most hostile environments in the world and now it is one of the most pristine. <laughs> More facts coming soon. This is an episode full of Silver Fox facts. Phil, huh? just started our hike to Garfield Peak for a panoramic view really? and some more facts. Despite the results of yesterday, we do have a British companion with us, Ben. True South African spirit, we, we still included him in today's venture. Shall we do it? Ready, break. So 7,700 years ago, there was a mountain sitting here about 12,000 feet high called Mount Mazama. Below it was a volcanic magma chamber, which 7,700 years ago erupted. It erupted so viciously that so much of the magna chamber was emptied. It was also a unique eruption of not just erupting from the summit of the mount mountain, it was also erupting in a circular fashion around the shoulder of the mountain. And eventually when the magna chamber emptied, the whole peak sunk and collapsed down, creating this crater here, and hence Crater Lake. So the lake is 19... 143 feet deep and there is no waterways flowing in or out of the lake and all the water you see behind me is all the snowfall that has melted and has created this lake over thousands of years.
So because there are no rivers, waterfalls and streams entering the lake, this water is some of the, if not the most purest water in the world. There's no debris and nutrients and whatnot that would be coming in via river. So as Chuck said, the snowfall throughout the year feeds this lake, keeping it just this pure blue, beautiful, natural color. So the island behind me is Wizard Island. After many years of the lake filling with water, this turned into a drowned volcano. We have with us today Ben from England. We've put aside our rugby differences and he is here with the Silver Fox fun fact of the day. So they put a device into the lake on a, this little black and white device and they dropped it down on a rope to measure the clarity of the water and they got to the record is 143 feet of, of uh, visibility of this device. So that's how clear this lake is. Pristine so there lake. You go. That is the my fact of the day. <laughs> yes, good job. <laughs> God you. save the queen. Okay. God save the queen. <laughs> really special and it needs to be looked after and it's actually um, I guess a sacred site for Native, Native Americans the Klamath Indians regard this lake you know um, with some mystical tales and beautiful stories but it's just they respect it and so should we 